Wes here, collectivekicks.com, and I wanted to bring you guys a follow-up video to me selling my sneaker collection. You guys have been asking for this video for quite a while on what I ended up keeping and why, and so this is a video for you guys that have been wondering. Um, it's not an easy video for me to do because there's still quite a few pairs, so it's going to take a large chunk of time for me to actually record this entire video. So if you guys do like the fact that I did follow up per your guys' request, please hit the thumbs up button and show you guys the support on the video. Um, but the other reason why that I, this was a really tough video to do is because I still have a room full of sneakers in the other room. It's just not as many as there was. I still have a ton of pairs that I need to get rid of, so I don't quite know how I'm going to get rid of those ones yet. Um, so that is something that's going to happen in the future. But all the sneakers that I have in this room are the ones that I have the intention to keep. So with that being said, that is what I'm going to be showing you guys. Now, if you guys did not hear, I basically want to try to keep my sneaker collection down to 100 pairs and no more, no less. There's always new pairs here and there that are servicing that I want to get my hands on and try out. So it's definitely going to take some spring cleaning and I definitely need to make sure that I try to get rid of the rest of the pairs that I don't need. It is a really tough balance though because obviously this YouTube channel is sneaker related. It's sneaker centric. So because of that, I have to buy sneakers and do reviews on them on a regular basis. Plus, it's not that I have to, it's that I want to. I want to see the newest technology or I like to see the newest models that companies produce so I can get my hands on them in person and see what my personal thoughts are on those shoes. So it's kind of like one of those things where I just kind of have to keep cycling through and just consolidate down to a core 100 pair. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I have left. Now, you guys can see in the back right here, I'll give you guys a little bit more of a closer look to the shoes behind me, but this is a sneaker wall and you can see I have quite a few pairs on the sneaker wall behind me. And then there's a bunch of boxes to this side and there's a bunch of boxes over here in my room. So I'm gonna go ahead and break these out and show you guys the rest of the shoes. So just to give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes, this is the sneaker wall. Obviously I film right here. This is a lot of extra shoes that I have over here that I'm gonna show you guys in this video. There's my fancy tripod. And there's a pile of sneakers down there. There's Lola and Chloe. And there's a ton of pairs behind me as well. So this is what I have left in the room. And you can see, this is the space that I'm working with, which was pretty small. So I have to try to make the best of it, which means I'm gonna to have to consolidate a couple pairs of these out. But this is kind of what it looks like for right now. Let's go ahead and get into the shoes. So also for those wondering, this is what's left of the sneaker room. As you can see, there's still a ton of pairs in here. It is a disaster in here, but it's not near as many as there was. That's one wall. This whole section here was full of shoes as well. And then I had another rack here. And then this whole wall was full of shoes as also. And then I had a bunch of shoes in the closet as well, and they're all gone. So that is kind of the way the room looks. It's kind of a super disaster right now, but uh, but this is what's left in the sneaker room for those that were wondering and this is a lot of stuff that I need to get rid of I had to move all the lighting out of the room. So if the lighting is a little bad, I apologize But let's go ahead and take a look. We have all the shoes up here and then we have these shoes down here as well as these ones over here And then I'll pull out the ones in these boxes over here in a second But this is all that is left. So unfortunately, this is in no particular order So hopefully you guys don't mind but black history month trunners 9317s the Saucony specials right here with the Hess kicks on the back from when I went to Boston. Saucony collab information is coming soon with my collab from Saucony, so stay tuned for that. The Concord 11s, we have the OG NMDs. These guys are one of my favorites. These ones are the Air Force 180s, not the Command Force. We have the Tailwinds up here, which is another favorite of mine. Air Jordan 14s, I love this candy cane colorway. And then we have a couple pairs of Yeezys here. Yeezy, Yeezy, Yeezy. Yeezy for the V2s, and then we have the Pirates. Moving our way back up, we have the Vapors, and we have the Mystery Grays. Shout out to the plug, Rejuvenator. Save 10% off your order at Rejuvenator with code HESKICKS. <laughs> Little plug. We have the Ground Beefs right here, 3.0s. We have the Super Bowl version or whatever, the Silver Joints. We have the Air Max Deluxe, another favorite of mine. Tokyo 5s, the other one's in the box. I'll grab it in a minute. We have the cream or the chalk colorway. And we have the Chinese New Year. Optimus Prime masterpiece in the OG. And then my brother gave me this guy right here, this Gundam uh, right here, which I don't really know much about, but he wanted me to put it out there. We have the Oregon State 9s, parlays or parlays. The unstrapped version of the 8s. We have the Flyknit Air Max 1s. 
the Zebra or the Oreo 3.0s, the LeBron Black History Months, the undefeated joints right here that I ended up designing, and then the white version of the Ultra Boost over here, as well as the snakeskin joints and a pair of Lillards, Turtle Doves, OGs, infrared, 90s. We have the wings. We have the LeBron All-Star joints, the Gator Kings, triple black NMDs. Shout out to Max Lund with his pencil joints right here. Human Race Pharrell joints. RIP to Isaac, DB5s. And I do have all the DBs, so don't think I got rid of them. I have all my Jordan ones still. We have the Maya Dita Ultra Boost right here. We have the 9317s in the other colorway. Royals. And then these rose gold Saucony joints right here. Sample CP3 Tokyo joints with the, the 23 pattern on the toe box. We have the Ronin CS2s. The gray Ultra Boost 3.0s. Pretty much the classic Jordan cement 3s. We have the uncaged. These are the all-star Lillards that glow in the dark right here. Pure Boost. Bread. Pure Boost. NMDs. Air Force 25 year. The Kukinis. I had to keep the OG joints. The Mega Man Kyrie Ones and the Air Mag Kyrie Wongs, or the Mag Kyrie Ones. Some uh, some DJ Hess uh, joints back there. It actually says my name on the side. PDX Carpet. The Pumpkin Spice Sauconies. These are like my DB6 inspired Kyrie Twos. Crazy Oregon State Big Bang inspired LeBron Tens. Shout out to Max Lund again for the Stewie Dunks. I love the way he did these things. So rad. Classics, I don't care how many times they retro, this is still my one of my favorites. 180 Barclays, ugly Christmas sweater joints right here. I have the black ones too. One of my favorite IDs that I ended up doing, the LeBron's 12 Elites. Tens right here, Elites. If you guys hear a lot of the crazy noise in the background, it's these guys right here. You guys are really loud, bros. We have the Homer KDs, white Air Force Mids, Zoom Citizens, classics that you guys probably don't know anything about but it's one of those shoes that I really liked back in the day, so I have them still. And then we have these also, the 120s, the OG ones, Oregon State Beaver 12s, inspired off the championship Kyries before they gave the real options. Elites, King's Crown, just love the way these things look still. Had to keep the 2Ks because uh, I earned the heck out of those. Some DB8s, DB Foams, We also have the DB5s again. All right, speaking of DBs, we have the DB3s. We have the 9s. We have the Nike Lab joints, the Flynets. Lola, you're really close to the camera, bro. And Champ Sports sent me those guys. Shattered Backboard 31s, ACG 07s, Lola Hands. D Wade sent me those. Fives, DB7s. DB4s, DB2s, City Socks, Town Biz, Lillards with the signature on the side right here, Nike Lab Dunk Lows. These are the Concepts 9316s. The custom joints that I did, the Triple Blacks, Crazy Explosive Lows. And then I did these Glow in the Dark Ultra Boosts. My first Triple Black Ultra Boost that I ended up painting. The midsole's on, and this is the 1.0. LeBron, 11, Oregon State's, and then the Big Bang kind of inspired colorway that I did, as well as like the South Beach 10 ID. Air Jordan 1 Pinnacle Croc. This is my Thanos inspired LeBron, as you can see from the Infinity Gauntlet and Thanos. Kind of a fun one. Shout out to Herb Juice for the patches. Oregon State, Go Beeves, Damian Lillards. Nike Lab, Dunks, super, super butter quality on these, if you guys have never seen. Just really amazing quality on these ones. Had to keep a pair of Pure Boost 2s. Dead stock still. All right, so that's most of it, and I still have the rest of the ones in these boxes, so let's go ahead and get into those ones. I'm gonna have to do one more segment after this, but here is a look at some of the other ones in the collection. Let's go ahead and start off up here, the DB6s, the Kubo 15s, DB10s, the custom that I did, some New Balance 998s, DB1s, DB3s, 
13s, lay swap, shattered backboard ones, Dave White ones, a pair that I designed themed after the sea and sky for Hawaii, tech fleece hirachis, just really love that colorway, salt stained dunks, really crazy looking materials, extra butter sauconies, got the DJ AM dunks, got the OGs with the swoosh that fell off, check out these things man, just beat. One of the recent pairs that I got from Saucony. Got the Saucony Feature LVs, and these are the pumpkins. Shout out to Sneakerhead in the Bay. Got the Bait Sauconies. One of my favorite ones, actually. I love the heathered gray on this. Got the Bonos, and then I did Go Beavs on this one. Pachetta Tan Foam Posits. Dexter Inspired KD, one of my favorites that I still did with that crazy metallic knife swoosh. And then the custom patch from Herb Juiced. Mag Inspired Kobe. This is the Dynamic Flights, for those wondering. This one's in super, super nice condition. Got the Quiet Life collaboration with Saucony. We have the Harden Ones. Best colorway that dropped, in my opinion. I think these are the Blitz Blue Kobe's. I just always love this colorway, so I kept this one. From Ubic, this is the Grid 9000. Had to keep these Air Max 90s because this is from my friend's wedding, and I was one of the groomsmen. I wasn't too mad that I didn't get the Supremes because I had these. Got rid of the mirrors, but I kept the chromes. Really like these ones. Got that galaxy inspired Kyrie 2 with that crazy strap on it. Glow in the dark soles. Got the galaxy foams as well. One of those GS Jordans that I had to keep. Cement 4s with the Nike Air on the back. Northern Lights foam posits, another all-star. This is another bait collaboration. Ugly Christmas sweater dunks from Concepts. Just look at the snowman, it's my favorite part. So that's pretty much all of these ones that are out here. And so now we have the final bit right there we got to get into. All right, so we made it down to the final stretch. This is the remaining stuff that we had outside of the boxes. As you can see, the rest are in the boxes over here now. And then the sneaker wall is being replenished as we kind of do this. I'm bringing out some different pairs and throwing them up on the wall. All right, let's do this. So let's go ahead and start up in the corner. Got rid of the pus head ones, but I kept the twos. I just really love the dingy, crazy sort of look of the twos. So I have the pus heads. Shout out to Asian Joe Evans. Here is the Fear 3s. I kept these definitely because of that Oregon State sort of vibe. Jumpman Bostic put me onto these. These are the Tinker 1s. These are the Alphas. I love the zoom on the bottom as you can see the pocket. Some sample dunks with this crazy sort of nylon material. And I don't think I've ever seen this floral print released on dunks, so had to keep these ones. Can't remember if I showed them, but here's the Pride Ultra Boosts. Custom foam posits with the Benny the Beaver Oregon State on the front and the Oregon State on the back. Andy Grass's Kyrie 2. Shattered backboard custom that I ended up doing. These are the laser ones, as you can see. Got a pair of these dead stock waiting for a rainy day. These are the Royals. Got Jacob Burris's Air Max 95. Spider-Man theme. I made the midsole cream colored so it matched the sole, and I think that these look really clean now. Another one from the tech pack I had to keep, the Prestos. Another custom I ended up doing, these are like the Snake Eyes custom Collective Kicks dudes that ended up gifting me these Air Max 95 DBs. So here's a custom that I never finished, that I never showed you guys, but it's the Kyrie 2 without the strap. And then I painted the toe box area black instead of the red sort of color. Moving our way back, we have the Kill Bill inspired KDs with the blood splatter everywhere. The Honolulu inspired Prestos that I ended up Nike ID in. So these are the Pippins from the Morph Pack and the entire shell comes out, even the midsole and the sole. And then it has like an inner liner for them, which is pretty crazy. These are the Pippins, oh, there's KDs and uh, GPs as well. And I have the GPs, but I, I did keep them there in the other room though. I ended up getting these from the outlets and I kept a pair. These are the Kyries from the All-Star Weekend that didn't end up dropping. Got my other pair downstairs, but this is my dead stock pair of the V1 in all black. Notice the difference though, the bottom part is actually orange on this one. My other one has a yellow uh, like torsion plate, so kind of different, which is interesting. But this is a V1, all black, that I'm keeping dead stock for now. Bonos Retros. This is the Auburn colorway, which actually just re-released recently. And part of the reason why it's not even worth keeping a lot of these around, because they'll just end up retroing again later. But this is a colorway that I definitely loved, so... I ended up keeping this one. Another one where it was kind of a waste of money because I Nike ID'd these and then they end up re releasing a pair that was very similar to these, unfortunately, but this was the inspiration that I went with with an all white, black and gold accents. And this is a Kobe AD. Another Kobe, shout out to the homie that gifted me this pair. I don't even remember the name of it, but it's a black and orange pair. So he hooked me up with this and it's super, super clean. Definitely like this Kobe. 
And another Nike ID, this is the Air Max 90 with a croc print. The Bricks Sauconies, super, super nice quality on these. Another pair of Pippins, this is the Pippin 4, I believe. Kind of a crazy colorway. I used to have the samples in the black colorway back in the day. Got the Alpha Dots in the back. Got the Kobe Elites, and this is the Globy Bryants, as I call them, because everything on this glows in the dark. Pretty funny, I always love the name, Globy Bryant. Got a pair of Airtune Max, as you can see here. Definitely a crazy throwback shoe a lot of you guys are like those are terrible looking but this is from the alpha series we got kian's db lebrons got another colorway of the dynamic flights in the sun's colorway how to keep these oregon state beaver on the back one of my favorite colorways of the prestos and the lightning colorway how to keep these ones as well one of the most clever dbs to hit the market and this is the batman inspired uh, janowski dbs with reflective batman on it Kept a pair of Pure Boost 1s just because I needed to at least keep one pair of DS since I had so many pairs of these, but definitely love this shoe. I call these the Chocolate Breads. It's kind of like a play on of the Bread uh, Jordan 1, but it is in chocolate tones. Alpha Bounce in the Tech Earth colorway. Super clean colorway in my opinion. And the last shoe to show you guys is one that's probably the most important that takes it back for me. And this is the Dynamic Flight in the Pippin colorway with the 33 on the back. I had this one when I couldn't afford Jordans and stuff, so this one definitely has a lot of sentimental value to me. So I'm really, really glad that I still have this one in dead stock condition. The lighting's really bad in here. All right, guys, that is the entire video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed what you guys saw. This took a lot of effort though, so if you guys can hit that thumbs up button, show your support on the video. Much, much appreciated if you guys do that. But I appreciate you guys for suggesting this video. It's been one that you guys are really curious about. But if you guys are new to the channel or you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, feel free to hit the subscribe button. It will notify you when I post videos in the future. But thank you guys for watching. Much appreciated again. And we'll catch you guys to some more videos soon. Peace, guys.